With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. Well, the latest meeting on a three-class basketball proposal produced a few changes. The two main ones are the elimination of the multiplier and the formation of a reclassification committee for all sports with more than two divisions. So instead of having students who do not go to their school in the home district counting double, the new approach has schools with 100 to 399 kids located in a city with a double-A basketball team playing in class A. Schools with over 400 in a double-A town will be double-A as well. This means schools like Trinity, Shiloh, and Oak Grove will be in the middle class, and towns like Beulah, Watford, City, Hazen, and Kildare will join them in Class A. Horace and Minot North will be double-A. Right now, the dividing line is 325. Above, A. Below, or in B. The double-A enrollment line jumps to 650. However, St. Mary's and fargo Shanley will opt up. A will be between 162 and 649, with the exceptions that I already mentioned, and the Class B cutoff will be less than 162. If this is approved, the Activities Association Board of Directors will vote next month to determine if it starts next year or in two years. Well, if the Super Bowl teams have been determined, it can only mean one thing. It's time for the KFYR TV Budweiser Bowling Classic. Year number 37 begins on Saturday, and the Stepladder Finals will be live on Sunday afternoon on the station you're watching right now. Brady Stearns of Minnesota is our defending champion. His game's extremely good. Uh, you know, there's a few players. This year, it's going to be a little different. I'm putting the pattern out. You know, Jack Nelson used to do it for us, and he retired and moved on, so I'm going to throw a little twist in there for, for the guys this year. 120 bowlers will begin the tournament on Saturday at Midway Lanes in Mandan. The top 30 make the cut and will compete on Sunday. The final five will go head-to-head -head live on TV beginning at 1230 Central Time. Bismarck High's uh, Brady Corsmo joins his brother Sean as the Gatorade Athlete of the Year for Boys Cross Country. Brady won the Class A Championship and he also ran in the Nike Cross and Champs Sports Regional Meets. Well, the longest winning streak in WDA hockey belongs to Legacy. The Sabres have eight straight, which is one more than the Century Patriots. And guess who plays tomorrow night against each other? Legacy is the highest scoring team in the conference, while Century is one goal shy of allowing the fewest in the WDA. You got two good hockey teams, uh, you know, good players on both sides. Crosstown rivals, it should be a, an intense game, but you know, for us, you know, we don't worry too much about what uh, what the other team is doing. We just got to focus on, you know, that we know the things that are going to give us success. We just got to make sure we go out and do that. And, you know, I think it was going to be a fun hockey game. Jeff Roberts is going to have more on the Sabres for us tomorrow on First News at 6. All right. Well, the temperature is <laughs> always the same in the arena, that's for sure. <laughs> yep. All right.